one of the most darkest episodes of the Batman Brave and the Bold series is Chill of the Night. The episode starts with the night of Bruce's parents' death as he stares at the man who killed his parents. Years pass and we see him grow up becoming Batman. After the credits, Phantom Stranger and Spectre have a conversation and wager if Batman confronts the murderer of his parents, will Batman kill him? Spectre states if Batman does kill him, then he will have to serve under him until his end. Phantom Stranger bets that he won't kill him and if he wins, Batman will be free of his own will. Batman goes undercover as a priest to the deathbed of a former mafia boss, Moxon, to hear his last confessions. But throughout their conversation, Bruce insists that Moxon has to drop a name of the murderer of the Waynes. You're not the only one in need of forgiveness. Yeah, okay. Some guy named... <coughs> Ch Chill. Phantom Stranger helps Batman uncover who killed his parents because there was a motive by taking him to a night of a charity ball 30 years ago, basically a Halloween party. Thomas wears his own bat suit and Martha wears a butterfly suit. Bruce hugs his mom tightly, which I love, but Moxon and his crew decide to steal the money that was donated to the charity and both Batmen decide to stop them. All but one gets away. Moxon and his crew get thrown in jail. Spectre confronts Batman after this and takes him to Blackgate Prison 30 years ago. Just a couple of nights after that incident, the one that got away visits Moxon and apologizes to him. And he says he will do whatever Moxon tells him. He will make Thomas Wayne pay. And just like that, the hit was ordered. He discovered his name was Joe Chill. Batman and Spectre go back into the present time and Batman figures out that Chill set up a meeting to sell special weapons to supervillains in Gotham City. Batman interrupts the meet and greet, throws a gas grenade, and takes down the villains, knocking them unconscious. Joe Chill runs away and Batman chases after him. They go into a room and this is where the tone changes. Took them without mercy or regret and in cold blood, Chill. How could you possibly? I know because I watched it happen. I know because I am the son of the man you murdered. I am Bruce Wayne. Oh no. It is funny how fate catches you when it's needed. It's also funny how writers waited for the right time for Batman to confront him. It was a cold case for him and the GCPD. But this is where fate needed to know whether he could be pushed over the line, his moral code if he really does stand for who he is. Heroes have said that even though he doesn't have powers, he's still a symbol for them. This was the test of his will, to control his revenge, to control his anger. On top of all that, we get Adam West voicing his father, Julie Newmer, who was Catwoman in the Adam West Batman series, voicing Martha, Kevin Conroy voicing Phantom Stranger, and Mark Hamill voicing Spectre. Honestly, this episode was goaded but it was also a great tribute to batman himself can i be your animation guy what did you think of this episode what was your favorite episode of this series till then see you next time